I'm so excited to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like I just, I fell in love with Marvel after watching Black Panther. And I was convinced that I needed to be a part of the universe after that. And so I was really, really excited and humbled to get offered this part in Loki. What I love about Hunter B-15 is that she's a stickler for the rules. And I think that's something that I kind of am too. And <laughs> I do not like breaking the rules, like, not really. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do. Um, but I guess sometimes we all have to, right? Um, but yeah, I do. I really love that she is someone who, like, right and wrong is something that motivates her. It's like I, she wants to constantly be on the good side of history of, you know, uh, and that's that's something that I... I really admire about her. Yeah. Um, I don't know how similar we are. I feel like that not wanting to break the rules definitely feels similar, but she's quite, she's quite a lot tougher than me. <laughs> she can handle herself in a way that I definitely cannot. So Hunter B-15 is a hunter for the TVA and basically her job is to cap variants and variants of people who disrupt the timeline and the TVA is there in order to keep the timeline in in its perfect condition and so um that's what B15 that's her her goal her only like um you know that's the only thing that she that drives her is making sure that this this order is in place and 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 remains in place. Um, yeah, yeah. It was really fun to play opposite um, Owen. We ha our characters have such different um, ideas of doing things, and um, yeah, like she's a stickler for the rules, and he's kind of like, oh, let's go left, let's go left all the time. <laughs> and so um, they. Uh, they are they're just so different they're just so different in the way they handle things and it's this kind of constant um uh shifting to 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 kind of get some form some sort of like balance of like uh, and unity um but the goal is still the same the goal is still the tva it's just their route to that order is a little different I love working with Kate. She is, Kate Heron is an absolute sweetheart and um, she's so passionate about um, our world and us as people and our characters and the, and the Marvel universe. Like she's totally, um, I, she's a dream. She's actually just a dream. I, I love her, <laughs> I do, I really love her and I'm so grateful that she cast me in this because yeah I I feel like it needed to be her <laughs> or else I may not be here you know and um, she's great so we had um stunt training every day pre-pandemic and um, we had stunt training and um we would do like drills so like kind of figure out how um a hunter you know, the training that a hunter would have gone through, we basically were trying to emulate that. And so we all kind of did the same thing. So we all had the same physical vocabulary and um, understanding of our costumes and, and, and how our props worked. Um, so yeah, it was quite physical. Um, yeah, it was an everyday kind of, you know, check in and, 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 and make sure we got it right. Uh, it was a dream working with Tom. Tom is, uh, he's a sweetheart. And he um, he was my third year at drama school. So I was his first year. So I was always looking up to him. And um, so it was really quite like, you know, you get a little bit nervous when it's someone who's 
the years above you, you feel that kind of like, oh, that's my third year. And he was just really like open and warm and got us all into this world and made us feel like we were always a part of it. And yeah, so uh, it was great. Um, Tom's totally dedicated to us all being our best. And that's quite special. So he would take time to run lines with you. I mean, he really did take time to run lines with you, which was, and like, I've never had another actor just go through like a monologue, my monologue, um, like 50 times. Ugh, he's, the, he's a dream. He really is. <laughs>